Good morning, viewers. Welcome to second episode of Dawn on VOS TV. I am Blessing Raji. With me in the studio is Mr. Shui Ayodili of the Nigerian Tribune newspapers. We'll be talking more of news that made the headlines on our newspapers today. Good morning, Mr. Shui. Good morning, Blessing. It's nice having you on the show. Simple, thank you. Okay. On the Nigerian Tribune newspaper, we'll be talking on... Uh, about this headline, APC membership registration ends, fresh controversy begins. That's on, the, uh, that's on page 28 of the Nigerian Tribune newspapers. You can buy your copy, buy yourself a copy, or you check for more stories online. Second story on the Nigerian Tribune this morning is um, on page 25 of the Nigerian Tribune newspaper is 15 killed as headsmen strike in Eboin. 15 killed as headsmen strike in Eboin. Then on same page 25, gunmen killed Reverend Father, three prisoners in Benue State. That's a very sad one there. Um, we have Vanguard here. On Vanguard, we have a similar story to the killings that uh, is reported in the Nigerian Tribune, massacred in Eboin. Priest, 17 others killed by s men wow. So the issue of s men killing is becoming topical. It's becoming... Something that is, um, appears that has come to stay with us and is not going to go away soonest. Yes. Quite unfortunate. Not really so unfortunate in the country. Nigerian deserves to be killed the way uh, people have been massacred. And I like the headline, the vanguard, the same massacre, yes. because the killing is becoming too much. And it appears nobody is talking about it, nobody is doing anything about it, nobody is addressing the situation. What's Quite unfortunate. You don't even know how many people, how many, how many Nigerians have died, how many more will die. More will die. And the same as men, as men. People are still It's so unfortunate that it's been happening for a while now and there's nothing to do about that. We can do something now. about it. It's only that we don't have those who have the willpower to act and all this. Are you saying that I'm going to continue down like this? Like you can have it in a body today. In uh, Benue tomorrow, it comes to a new yes. state, it goes to Delta, it goes to Southwest, and the, the northern West, part over the place. Mr. Shui, what do you think is the way forward? The way forward is to have the political will. In the first okay. instance, this is 21st century. So, why do you have cows on the streets? Yeah. Are you taking cows from one place to the other? And in advanced country, we are talking about ranching and the rest. That's number one. Yeah. Two, for crying out loud, these people are not spirits. Where did they get the ammunition, the guns, and everything that they are using? Mm -hmm. You have security and intelligence. Which intelligent materials are they gathering? How do they process it? Because this thing will still happen. It will happen in Ebony, it will happen in Benue, it will happen in every part of this country. I will still not do anything about it. And we have people that are saddled with the responsibility of taking care of issues like this. We have the DSS, we have the police, we have the army, we have the Nigerian intelligence agencies, and all of that. Then you have above them or your commander in chief, your president, who is supposed to sit on top of all these things and see and analyze. Are we getting research? If you are not getting research, then you change your tactics. Yes, you can't continue to do the same thing the same way. You are getting the same result over and nothing over is over. moving forward. Okay, speaking of, of um, the president, uh, here we have an interesting topic about the president as he jets out of the country for medical treatment despite the insecurity in the states and um, in the country rather he jets out for two weeks um, vacation for his medical trip what can you say about this i think that's no longer a news in nigeria that the president uh, goes abroad for medical uh, treatment or medical share or whatever name you want to give about it mm. it's another unfortunate aspect of our life as a country in this year, 2021 budget, I think about 13 billion naira was voted for uh, the Asuro Clinic. And the, so what, what's, what has happened to that? And look at it, it gets out of it the country, then it gives order orders to, to the chief security, security to say, okay, to crush bandits, bandits and, and their sponsors. Now, the question you ask yourself is, while he was here, before he jetted out, what has happened? Yes. Are they not killing the bandits? Are they not operating? So, <laughs> so in his absence, what, would, what can that change? Nothing will change. Nothing yeah. will change. Whether he gives the order or not, nothing will change. If he stays, while he was here, before he jetted out, nothing changed. Nothing happened. 
is um is a way of staying who are so, the people you are giving the other to the first so are you time? saying that two weeks is no 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 it's very logical okay. somebody that you see one on one on a daily basis mm -hmm. that you could interact with that you could even shout if need be yes you didn't do anything you know, the person didn't do anything then you are out going to uk and, and then you are saying i'm giving you order shades crush uh bandits the yeah. same bandits that you are negotiating with various governors across the countries are negotiating with bandits paying same ransom things. They kidnap school children, you go and meet them, you call uh, somebody who knows where they are placed, you give them money and the rest. So this thing has become a very big business yes. that is not long, long likely to go away very soon. And it's quite unfortunate that in the year 2021, we see our president, yeah. our political leaders still leaving this country to go and seek medical attention abroad. Attention abroad. As the level at which no, the no, no, country is uh, going that. Even in our country, we can't boast of... Um, can't no, 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 no. Let me give you a just typical example. Okay. There's a teaching hospital in Benin here, okay. University of Benin Teaching Hospital. Mm -hmm. Sometimes a girl, a church member, were driving out, we saw her, and then we picked her. She was sick, they were taking her to the hospital. And before we got to UBT, the woman passed down. Wow. She died in my car. Mm -hmm. We got to UBT, the, uh, uh, what do they call the accident and emergency room. Ordinary form to receive the cause has brought in there. UBT did not have. Yeah, it's something that I personally experienced. Wow. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's UBTH. So if that is happening in Benin, okay. then what happens at Yekorium, where you don't even have any hospital? So how many Nigerians <coughs> have died? Of, Lost their lives uh, over diseases, that. Diseases, illness that shouldn't even kill them in the first instance. Yes. So what do you think is the way forward about that? The way forward is one, I think the people uh, the Nigerians themselves need to begin to ask questions. Another round of elections are coming. What do you do? Mm. You don't keep on electing the same set of people. Can we try new hands? Mm. Can we try new ideas? Because it happens that everything, nothing is working. We've tried the old hands and they are not doing anything. Mm. In 2014-2015 campaign, and every, one of the reasons why this president and the came in was that Nigerians expected that there would be changes. Yes. A departure from what it used to be in the past. But it appears everything is. Did you also believe in the change as at then? Oh, never. Okay. Because it's the same set of people. People left PDP to go to APC, APC to come back. We are just yes. recycling the old, the same hands. So nothing will change. No new idea, no new. So mission. do you feel the youth should come up? What are you talking about the youth? For instance, is the Kogi State the governor not a youth? What is yes. he doing there? He's campaigning to be the president. And that's what I'm saying. The guy is, he became governor in his early 40s, yes. relatively compared to the president and others. You think that he's a young man and the rest. So, what has he done? I think it's not about the issue of the age, it's about changing our thinking orientation. Yes, sir. We put these people to travel abroad. Buhari has just jetted out of the country. He will see things there. Why can't you come and replicate all those good things you are seeing abroad? And so, yes. what I think is a change of orientation. It's not really about the age. We have uh, people in their 30s and their 40 who have also best job. And we have people in the for instance, the former governor, when this dispensation started off uh, Oshun State, BC Akadi came to power at a very old age. And the man did fantastically well. Yeah? Yes. So it has nothing to do with the age. It's not the issue of whether you are young or you are old, it's about your orientation. When they say that we are facing um, a whole lot, so what do you think? Should the youth be I given think, no chance? I think the issue will first be our political setup. Okay. Why should everything be about PDP, PC, APC. PM, and the rest? For instance, if I'm interested in becoming, I live at Ugui Yoko side, mm -hmm. or becoming the councillor of Ugui Yoko, can I just come out, test my popularity there without joining any political party? Mm -hmm. Can you just begin to allow people to have independent, uh, to run as independent candidates in, during the election? If a group of people just feel that, okay, the only thing we want to do is to make our the local government, for instance, the best UK, can we just allow them to come together without necessarily tying them to either PDP or to APC or, or APC. to any of these? Uh, because when you get there, they tell you that APC or PDP, they have their manifesto, they have their this, and there nobody is implementing that. Mm -hmm. But if I have fantastic ideas and I have friends that share the same view, the same vision with me, can we come together, pull our resources together? Pick one of us to stand for election, we back him up, and everything. Then the system gives us a level mm -hmm. playing field, and then we go in for the election. Okay, sir. And um, thank you very much for that. And um, 
Page 8 of the Nigerian Tribune newspaper, we have um, 800 stolen Nigerian assets worth $400 million linked to public officials in UAE, United Emirates. So... <laughs> Again, it's no longer news. Yes. I think about two weeks ago, the topical issue we were talking about was the return of Ibori. Ibori, Ibori, Ibori loot from UK and yes. from wherever. For the past how many years, we've been getting a uh, return of Abasha's uh, loot as well. And we know Generation Z of Bomb is still benefit from Abasha loot. What this tells us is that in all this, who has been punished, so to say? Mm. Yeah. Who has been held responsible? Held responsible say, okay, fine. for that. Ibori we're talking about. Here, before he left for UK, where he was jailed, he caught a judge in this same Nigeria set him free. They were, I think, what, about 143 cases, uh, charges were preferred against him. And he set him free of all those things. Yeah. Only for the guy to get to UK and he was jailed for 13 years. He's back. Go to Delta State. Who is dominating the politics today? So what are we talking about here? It won't change anything. You will keep on getting there. Because as we speak, even as this ones, this loot and the rest that are returning, people, some other guys are true, are relooting. Yes. They are taking it again. So Nigerian has a lot. We have a okay. long way, way to, to go. go. We've been deceiving ourselves for too long. We'll be paying politics of this is. We'll be doing things the wrong way. Mm -hmm. In the first instance, why can't we straighten the law? Why can't you make the judiciary work? Why should a corruption case be in court for more than six months? Six months. We have corruption cases. Uh, this guy in Abia State, former governor of Abia State, or Jews of Kadu, I've been in court since how many years? Mm -hmm. He was jailed, they set him free, and then the case will go back to court. So when you try a corruption case for a period of six, seven years, what, do you, what, what are you telling the whole world? So can you make it faster? Can it be that, okay, find a governor after he has immunity, fine, we'll wait for four or eight years, as yeah. the case may be. Three months down the line after he left office, all the cases have been perfected, taken to court, and in less than six months, he's already serving his times. Yes. So he begins to do that, and then you know that this government is in jail, this senator is in jail, this councillor is in jail, this local government chairman is in jail for corruption and everything. The next set of people coming in will think twice. But it's convenient for me to take five billion era out of, let's say, as a governor of a new state, five billion era. I get to court, and I know that in the next three, four, five years, Nothing will come out of it. And then the next, after five years, I join the next party that yes, is ruling, right. and then the case dies naturally. So it's just, um, what do you think about this notion that um, um, the, re the Constitution don't hold the rich, but the masses? No, 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 no. the truth of the matter is that our laws in, the, in this country are not for the poor. They are meant to protect, particularly, for instance, a pickpocket in Ring Road will be taken to court. In less than mm. three weeks, the magistrate has sentenced him to open prison. Mm. Huh? But is, is that the same thing you have with poli uh, politicians? Mm. You take a case to court, you see frivolous motions, all manners of delay tactics that will be introduced to it. Because the judiciary is not threatened, all you need to do to end all this kind of shenanigans is threaten the judiciary. Mm. Make the process faster. Let it be that within a short period of time that somebody is caught, taken to court and everything, mm. and the whole matter is settled, and then it's made to pay. Thank you for coming. Thank you, blessing. It's for nice having, having you on the show. Same here. It's my pleasure. Thank you. That's it on the show today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for investing your time. Do stay safe and bye for now.